In this video, we're going to be showing you one of my favorite route combinations to be able to beat the current meta defense, man coverage, pressures, um, zone, really good. It's a short side concept, so what you want to do is you want to have your trips formation to the short side of the field. Now, this is going to be on a trips tied in. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description of the video. It's only $10 to become a member. We have 13 men, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and we're dropping a brand new one this week as well so make sure you're a patreon member if you want to get access to all of that stuff uh you get access to all ebooks and all updates to those ebooks uh which again we've been dropping stuff pretty much every single week um of the madden 23 season so the play is pa slot corner out of trips tied in in new england and i'm going to show you one of my favorite plays right now uh, this is going to take advantage of motioning over post routes and also short side floods. So um, let me show you why short side is so important for this. Uh, I'm going to try to respot the ball. There we go. Um, the way you respot the ball, I think, is you hold left trigger and you click the left joystick in or like you click them both at the same time. Um, so anyway, but the setup. So if you want to know that, there you go. But anyway, the setup for this is this. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, streak Jones. We're going to C route or corner route, technically, is what it's called, but everybody knows it as a C route. It's called a corner route in the actual hot routes. So you need outside apprentice for this. Outside apprentice, probably the most important ability this year. It's even more important than set V lead um, to have the C route. But, anyways, then what we're going to do is we're going to drag our tight end and we're going to motion over circle on this post. We just want to snap him kind of like right after. Like we want to snap him like right in here. Okay, and what you'll see here is the C route. Um, now, when with the, with this specific formation, when you throw this to the outside against a cover three, it's actually still there for you. But if you throw it against cover four, let me just show you what it looks like. Sometimes it can be a little hairy, especially if you're on the wide side. So you see here, I throw it. See how he's kind of in the area, right? Now, if I'm to the short side, what you'll notice is completely different. So... Short side floods, as a general rule, general principle, are really good this year. Meaning flooding zones to the short side of the field are really good. So here's cover four. And you'll see now, all of a sudden, that's way more open. Okay? Way more open. So um, this is our basic setup to beat every zone in the game. The C route with a streak. And it's really good against every zone in the game. Uh, it doesn't matter what zone they call. This is probably the best zone beater in the game. Um, because you see how consistent it is? Super simple. And it's also fairly relatively quick. It gets out there really quick. So that's cover three. Um, we'll show you cover four one more time. I don't actually like to freeform this. I just pass lead it outside. As soon as I see that DB turn his hips to go vertical. Now, I will say the one thing that can trip this up is if their cover four is not using um, shade underneath like hard flats. You'll see when it uses hard flats, it's significantly better because that guy doesn't bump him, right? So you see that's a little bit more open, okay? But cover four is not terrible. It, it's probably the best zone for this. Um, but, you know, again, as soon as he turns his, his back, that's when you want to kind of throw it. Um, so that's cover four and then cover two, we'll show you, um, pretty decent little play, really good play against cover two. So you see here, that guy's going to take the deep half going to have to go with the, the streak and it's going to leave that C route wide open. So every zone in the game, you're going to be able to attack with the C route. Now the beauty of the C route is it's also really good against man, man, um, and match. So this is cover six. You'll see here, here's cover six. And you see he's open to the sideline again. So you see how consistent this is. When you pair a, a C route with a streak, it's really pretty good. Um, and then we'll show you man to man. Now, um, because of Mike Evans' route running, sometimes he will get bagged. But generally, this is a pretty good read against man. Okay? Uh, generally speaking, this is a pretty good read against man. Um, and I'll show you one adjustment that they will make to this that's going to... Kind of be their best chance to stop it. But again, you see there, that time was bagged. Again, that's primarily because it's route running. But one of the adjustments you'll see is they will basically take this guy and put him on a third, and then they're going to man this guy up onto the C route. So you see it's going to look something like this. 
And then from there, you know, they're going to have their adjustments be whatever they're going to be. They're probably going to be using this guy, right? Something like this. And again, this is a drop eight coverage. Obviously, if they blitz you, it's going to be a little easier. So you'll see here when they have this thing bracketed like this, um, it's still kind of there, still kind of open, okay? So just so you know, like... You want to lab it, of course, um, but I actually find this is one of the most popular tactics people use right now to stop C routes. And if you understand how the route works, because it is, in my opinion, the best and most important route in any offense this year, and it's a hot route, you need to be able to throw this consistently against every coverage because it's going to open up everything else because they got to do so much to stop it. You see how that's consistently cooking, um, the cooking that player. Okay, so. Even if they're going to do that man cross man technique and stuff, if he has a step, please throw the ball to him. So now they're going to have to, you know, I mean, there's a lot they're going to have to do. Um, you know, they're going to have to have someone, maybe even user it, right? They're going to have to be dropping a lot of zone help. They might drop this guy into a, a, a zone drop curl flat, you know, and then now what's going to happen is you're going to have a 1-2 read over the middle. So as they overcompensate to stop your C route, which is the main route on the play, you're going to see here that now my post is really, um, really going to have a lot of space to be able to work in the middle of the field. Um, and so they're going to have to basically choose. They have to use the post route. The post route will beat every man, everything in the game. It's going to get open, okay? The question is, are they going to use or the... Are they going to use with the post or are they going to use with the drag? Most generally speaking, uh, most people that play trips tight end, they know that they're going to have to guard. They're going to have to guard this post route. So this is going to kind of imitate that setup. And then again, remember, they're going to have to do something like this to stop the C route. So you see they're out of zones. Um, it's going to be hard for them to drop a lot of zones. Um, obviously, we're not just going to only run this play. There's other plays we'll have in our arsenal too, so just keep that in mind. But what you'll see here with short and elite, this drag – is pretty consistent against man. And normally you'll get a little better separation than that. Again, we're short and elite, but that drag really does a good job of, you know, again, just attacking across the formation. So then you're left with, again, a really money route combo because they can't guard everything that you have on this play. So now they're going to go guard the drag and you've got your post wide open. So I love this play. I think this is a super up underrated concept this year. Um, this idea that we're going to be, and you could if you wanted to, you could put this backside guy on an in route as well. Um, and then kind of maybe, you know, space it out just a little better. And then again, just look at how good that post route is, though. That motion snap post is so good this year. So this is probably one of my top called plays out of trips tight end because of how powerful. Again, if you truly understand and you truly master the C route, you'll find that this is one of the most powerful routes in the game because when you pair it with a streak, it's really hard to stop it in in zone coverage and man coverage generally the solution if you will to the c route is to just put an outside third over there but they can't just do that with this setup so anyways that is one of my favorite setups at a trip side in if you want to learn the rest of the trip side in offensive ebook make sure that you join my patreon the link to sign up for that is in the description of this video you can get all ebooks for only 10 bucks we'll unlock everything over there so thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.